locomotive able to move all the way from a single time to two But ultimately, not being able to be This is an homage to my childhood, not just DC, but the idea that superheroes are really modern Greek mythology. The gods that existed there that went through, and Mercury that went fast, and the god of war, and all this stuff. It's very similar to modern superheroes. This is modern mythology. I remember coming to America at a uh, little bit, about eight and a half years of age, barely speaking the language and picking up my first issue of world's finest comics that had Superman and Batman and Robin and I didn't know what the hell was going on. All I knew was some guy could fly through the air, which I never imagined in my wildest dreams, and this other guy with the bat and the thing, like, what? And I became hooked. And secretly, I must tell you, my hand to God was when I'd go to the beach, when nobody was looking, I'd grab the towel, tie it around my neck, and try to jump up and hopefully fly through the sky, just like Superman. And that, of course, opened the door to all the other classic characters, the Flash and the Atom. I love the Atom. By the way, I'll tell you who drew it, who wrote it. Carmine Infantino was the artist on The Flash. Barry Allen's The Flash. Hal Jordan. Gil Kane was the artist on that. I used, I used to have close to 10,000 comic books, literally. I still have some in the basement, but I had a comic book buying and selling business that actually bought my college education. I'd, I'd give people a buck for a pound of comics that were up in their attics because their kids grew up and went to school, and they didn't know what to do with the comic books. And every once in a while, I'd get a golden age comic book from the 40s. And every once in a while, I'd get 10 grand for a comic book. That paid for my college education. DC was the beginning. That opened the doors. And then there were other companies that did wonderful work. And you don't want to mention them now because we're here. <laughs>